Hello boys, it's me, Dollar Store Rowan Atkinson. So I wanted to cover um, something different today, and that is covering how to shop for blue items. So you may have noticed in some of my videos that I have stuff like this with my faceted plates and four socket heavy armors and blah blah blah, some 320 gloves and also some cute little, some red great helms like this, you know? Um, but I like shopping for these um, and from what I've seen on some videos online, my method seems to be a bit different, so I thought, hey, let's cover this, see if it helps any of you guys um, in shopping for some more, you know, sweaty blue items. So what do I do? What's my method? So I go specifically for the assassin. Reason being is we want burst of speed. So this is kind of fucking awesome when it comes to movement speed. As long as you have over, um, like, minimum level 16, then you're fine. Every point over 16, it tends to start getting diminishing returns, so I think 16 is a good point to kind of aim for. Now, what else? We want gear. Now, main piece of gear, as you can kind of see down here, is the level 10 Vigor Aura, which you get from Harmony. So, to Earth Soul Co. Pretty cheap. A lot of the gear here is really cheap, um, apart from a few things, which there is a lot of alternatives. So, Harmony you can make in uh, the lowest bases, like a level 4 Razor Bow, with extremely low requirements, incredibly easy for anyone to use. Now, any circlet with 30 faster run walk is great. Cat's Eye is the only faster run walk amulet. Now for a chest plate for best in slot um, is a light plate with Enigma. So this gives you 40, 45 faster run walk along with teleport obviously, um, but in a light plate that means you avoid the, the negative um, kind of reduction to run speed. Now Mav's Belt is an underrated one so this gives you 20 faster run walk and then aside from the rings and the gloves which are irrelevant, any boots with 40 faster run walk is fine. Elders is a great base one, and then even if you don't have any boys, you can just shop for 5-10 minutes and get, get, get a pair from, from the shop. Now, if you want to be sweaty and min-max it like me, you can get a whole bunch of faster run walk charms here, and then you are good to go. I like keeping a um, space of 6 just so I can buy anything from the shop, and then, you know, easy peasy. Now, the specific tile set that I go for is I reset the game until I get this tile set. So when you enter the game here, you want to see this dirt path up to the top left and see these two torches. Because what we're wanting is this spawn here, which is the quickest exit and entry to reset the vendors in the Act 1 camp. So Geed is right here, and Charcy is right here. So. What do I do with my method? So I would buff up, I would find a game specifically here. Well, obviously find the game first before I buff up. But I would go clockwise. So I would check Charcy. I would run down here, check Geed. Oh yeah, a couple of cuties. Oh, three socket, indestructible, nice. And I would beeline straight up here to this tree, and I would teleport over. So I teleport just past this little um, torch here, and then Usually you're away from these obstacles and you can just click chassis right in front and you're, you know, easy, yeah, easy peasy, you know what I'm saying? So I found this to be the quickest method um, when farming this for a longer period of time um, so I can find more armors, helmets, and shields per hour. So doing it this way, if you're after specifically uh, like heavy medium armors with the jeweler's mod and life, shields with... Um, you know, tower shield or kite shield with deflecting, uh, like jewelers of deflecting. If you're after helmets, which are jewelers or artisans of like the whale, this is definitely what I would recommend. This is the highest quantity of items you can check. So as you've noticed just from these few runs, Geed and Charcy tend to always have majority of their, um, if not all of it, like 90% of their armor slot is full with items, unlike Anya and other vendors. So it's quite consistent. So here, every now and again, you are going to be missing some slots. So I know I'm, you know, sounding a bit hypocritical there. But majority of the time, boys, you're going to be seeing a quite reasonably full stash space. Now, a um, few other things to kind of talk about. Of course, there's probably going to be a few of you like, why don't you just make a cow portal here and just go in and out? That's totally fine if you want to do that. Um, the reason why I don't do it is because main factor is I play online. So the load screens and there's also a slight delay clicking in and out, uh, clicking back in of the portal. I find that quite annoying. With enough run speed, I've actually found it is quicker 
to do it this way so by the time i can go in the portal watch the load load screen wait that tiny delay to click back in wait the second load screen and talk to chassis again by that time i could just run down here and check geed already so it's technically faster and more efficient so you can check more per hour so that's why i do that if you don't have the gear if you just want to farm it on any character perhaps you just have one character that is higher level that can actually find stuff in the shop in hell mode or just one character in hell mode in general that's a really good way to do it you can just make a portal here you don't need to worry about gear and you just go in and out and check chassis or geed if you like um Obviously, I think it's important to talk about Anya because there's slightly different things you can shop from there in Act 5. So I'm just going to go here now. So just running down here to Anya, so there is a portal right next to her, which is very handy. A few things to note when shopping specifically for Anya here, as you can see already, she's more likely to have more space. So if you're just checking Anya for, like, uh, for armors, it's not going to be anywhere near as efficient is if you're using the same setup in Act 1 on this specific tile map that I showed. So she tends to have more shields, more space, but also on the other, the other hand, she sells claws that you can check. Like we do have one here, which is a cute one with, you know, fools. And you can also check for plus three Warcry, Warcry Jabs. If for some reason you're farming specifically for like Light Plate or magic, Mage Plate with um, three open sockets with maybe faster hit recovery or life, for a lower level doula then you can definitely check here she tends to sell them more often than other vendors i have found so going in and out there's a slight delay when you can click you can hear the, the voice on the character i can't click on that portal yet sorry but yeah that is that is kind of what i have found so i'm not you know shitting on other methods there's definitely ways to do it but if you're looking for this type of stuff if you want four socket armor of the well, you want some sweaty stuff with shields, just like one to put facets in. Uh, I don't know if you're making some type of, you know, variant on, I don't know, sorceress or three twenties or just some nice, you know, great helms like this. There's definitely good ways to do it. And for that, I recommend going in Act One. Hopefully that was interesting for you boys. Hopefully you guys got something, but I would highly recommend it out. I uh, recommend, you know, trying it out because you can get stuff like this, which makes your character look like an absolute chad. So I'll see you guys in the next one.